Hello YouTube. Um, for any of you that have kind of followed the channel or watched some of my previous videos, you know that I'm a big fan of these Little Creek Trading Stupid Simple Slings. They're cheap, they do everything you need them to do, and nothing you don't need them to do. And I have them on almost all of my, I guess, modern sporting rifles. I don't have them on some of my bolt guns just because I had slings on them before I found out about Little Creek Trading. Um, my only real complaint about this sling is that it is a little narrow, and so that can sometimes be a problem if you carry it over your shoulder or across your neck as it digs in a little bit. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a simple paracord wrap on this sling to add just a little bit of padding and to make it a little bit wider. Uh, I won't do the whole sling because I want to be able to adjust this at a later date if I ever need to, and so I'll probably only do uh, probably about that much of it. And the idea will be that when this is all said and done, it'll be like a pad that I can then slide up and down into kind of the position I want it, but it won't really affect the overall adjustability of the sling because even if I really cinch the sling up, it still won't uh, cover the distance, I guess, or I'll have some extra space on here. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, for the section that I'm doing here, I'm gonna end up needing roughly 30 feet. Um, what I'm using here is I have two, I think, 15-foot-ish hanks, and I just use a square knot to tie them off here. Uh, when all is said and done, it really shouldn't make any difference as far as the uh, structural integrity, because I'm not really planning on this bearing any load. Now, because of how I ultimately want this to lie when I'm done, I'm going to start with the sling uh, inside section up, so that way I can put my knot on the back side of this. If you're not using a square knot, and you have just one single piece, this shouldn't really matter. But my hope is also that when all is said and done, I can put my ending knot on the outside as well, so that way it won't uh, grind on my neck or anything like that. And I'm going to start just below the second keeper here. Now what you want to do is you're going to take one side, and get it from the other like that. And once you get this started, it's pretty easy, but getting it started is kind of the difficult part. And I'm going to run this through here. So first off, I put my right side across, my left side over, and then to start this, I'm going to take my left side here, run it behind, and through that loop. So now once that's started, I'll line up my not here on the back and I have the start of my wrap. So then what I'll do is I'll take my left side here, put it across the front, run the right side around behind the back and then bring it through. And then I'll just snug that up tight. I don't want to get too tight because I don't want to crush my nylon so you'll have to kind of jimmy with it and decide how you want to do yours. Like, that's probably about as tight as I want to get it, because any tighter I'll start crushing this, which will kind of defeat the purpose. And then once you've got that, you'll just keep going. Whichever side has this loop on top will be the, the one you cross over in front. And the other side will go around it and back behind. And then you'll just rinse and repeat. Over the top, over, and behind. And again, just kind of snug it up as you go. If you find this is too loose when all is said and done, you can kind of go back through here and tighten all these up, but it's better to do it while you're working on it rather than to have to go back and fix it. And you can see we're kind of getting the same pattern on the opposite side. Now something I'm going to do purely for aesthetics is because I have this knot here, I'm going to go ahead and just stuff it underneath these first few wraps. Out of sight, out of mind. And I'll go back through here and kind of tighten all these up. Now we're just going to rinse and repeat. Side with the loop on top goes over in the front. The other side goes over top of it and behind. Now I'll just rinse and repeat this and I'll get back to you when it's done. Alright, after a lot of rinse and repeat, this is what you end up with. Um, for this end, I just went ahead and tied a square knot and then 
melted the edges and smashed them flat so that should be fairly well secure now and because of how I left this a little bit loose I can then slide this back and forth to find where I kind of want it as you'll as you can see here I started out with it right up against this buckle but after getting it finished and sort of playing around with it I found this is probably the best position for it um, I probably could have used another 10 feet or so per side and made this a little bit longer but the other nice thing about this if I want to I can stretch out this weave and make it a little bit longer um, I haven't seen a need for that yet but time will tell I may end up also made up taking this off because I've never really used something like this but so far so good I'm really liking it, it rests along my shoulder right where I want it to and even if I do manipulate the rifle a little bit it's tight enough on the sling that it doesn't cause it to really move around so if you found this video helpful or informative please like share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one thanks